Hello, so today I'm going to show you how to create your credentials to be able to use the Google Search Console API with Python. So it can be used to learn about any other API, but I'm taking this one specifically for Google Search Console, but you'll be able to replicate the steps for any other API. So the first thing that you need to do when you want to use the API is to create a new project. So you need to create your project and call it with a name that you can remember. So usually what I do is to use the name of the API I'm trying to connect. Example, Google Search Console, in this case, and give it whatever name you want to use. So you just click Create. Then you need to consent to uh, click enable APIs and services and then search for the Google search console API that you'll be able to use and click enable. So you could have used YouTube API. Google Analytics API, Knowledge Graph API, any other API can use the same way. So this is the first step. Then you need to go to the credentials and create your credentials. When you arrive to this screen, you're gonna see this telling you that you need to configure your consent screens first. So the consent screen is you telling which which uh, scope you, you want the API to be accessible to. So in this case, the only, what you absolutely need to add is, is the name and you also need to add your emails. These are the only two things that are absolutely necessary in this case. You can add your authorized domain in this case that I don't want people to be able to use the API on other domain than my own domain. So I have multiple websites. Oh. Search console API, I gave it another name that I already have. So in this case, I give this, it's saved. Now I'm ready to create the credentials for my API. You have the API key, which is a URL that you can access using it. So I don't like this because you don't need to log in to be able to use the API. You could use service account in case of Google Analytics where you want to give an email access to the API. In this case, I will use instead OAuth, which will prompt me to log in to my uh, Gmail account to be able to access the API. As for the application type, I use desktop apps, apps since I'm using a Python script. And I click create. From there, you have your client ID and client secret. You want to make sure that this is absolutely secured. I don't care showing it to you because I'm gonna delete that very soon. But in this case, you wanna keep that, copy that. This is your, what you wanna know about this is that the client ID is like your email and the client secret is like your password when you try to log in any app. So. This is what you need to make secure. And you wanna save that and use that to be able to use the API. In our case, what I will do instead is to download the key as a JSON file. And then having this saved somewhere, I'll be able to use it in the next video to be able to learn how to use, actually use the API with Search Console and Python. So hope you enjoyed this tutorial uh, and thumbs up and leave a, a like or share or subscribe to the channel if you're very interested and if you liked it. So.